in the book of Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the Lord he made us a curse for us for it is written curse everyone that hanging on the tree in of chapter 2 verse 20 I am crucified with Christ I live yet not I but Christ live in me and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith, the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Somebody say amen. The reason why I read the scripture, because when we are worship God, God spoke to us this evening to remind you the curse is already broke. All the thing you went through to your life, it's already broke. The time you confess out of your mouth for repenting, you go to the water baptism and you receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That means God has already done the work for you. Hallelujah, Jesus. You can be seated because I'm, going to, I'm not going to hold you that long. I feel the Holy Ghost here tonight. I am. I feel the Holy Ghost. I don't know about you, but every day I wake up, uh, I challenge myself uh, and command myself to subtract my, my life and my heart to the Lord uh, and remind myself I'm here to serve in God. Uh, no matter what come my way, uh, I make up my mind because Christ has already died for me. Christ already rise up uh, and keep me the liberty. The Bible says in the book of Corinthians, uh, he say where the spirit of the Lord is, uh, there is a leopard here. Hello, somebody. We need to rise up and remind ourselves every morning. I'm an overcomer. I'm getting my message tonight. But I want to encourage some of you. We're fixing to go into the 2022. Somebody say amen. But somewhere you're going to find God in your life to let go 2021. No matter what takes place in your life, everything is not going the way you think, the way it's going on. But remind God, I am an overcomer. I'm fixing a stepping up on the other side and marching forward for 2022 because I am ready to stand with God and make everything he wanted me to do for every day. I feel it. I feel it. Somebody say amen. So pastor, first lady, family, thank you for being here tonight. I don't know about you, but I always challenge myself to come to church. Come to the house of the Lord. Because the minute you make up your mind to come to the house of God, you're stepping into your faith. No matter what your flesh tell you, you're stepping on your faith. Somebody say amen. And church, I'm excited the secret thing is coming to this church. I don't know about you. Somebody say amen. But let's go to the word of the Lord. I'm trying to look over at the phone and this iPad and this Bible. I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going tonight. But I have a word. I have a message. And I give honor to all of you being faithful to all the way on the next year, 2022. The greatest thing I found when I first came to this church is sitting under a man and a woman. They've been faithful. No matter what storm coming their way, no matter how the rain try to punch the hole in the ceiling, no matter what take place, uh, but they stand uh, all the way to the end of this year and remind the church uh, we are going to go forward. Uh, remind the church uh, we are going to grow. Uh, remind the church uh, we're going to win souls. Uh, remind the church uh, we have the message. Uh, we have the Holy Ghost. Uh, we have the name of Jesus. We have the word of God to declare where we're going from here. Listen, I'm sure something with you before I move on. So I feel like the God is really want to get our attention tonight. 
If you want to see God move in his church, what's the way your pastor is serving God? Some, Sometimes we are so prideful. We think, it's God here, God there. There's a reason why they put a man of God in the church. You can claim it, everything in the scripture. You can quote it. You can say, God spoke to you. But if you have a problem for submission, hello, honey, you not. Somebody say amen. amen. And I know there's a lot of bless going on in the movement of God. So I'm going to turn your Bible in the book of Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19. Woo, I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel it. In the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19. If he be willing and obedient, we shall eat the good of the land. To you, faith help you focus on prosperity or whatever God is planning for you. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. So let me go a little Bible study here. I'm not getting nervous when I show that I'm talking. I'm getting excited so that way you can understand what I'm saying because sometimes the way I say things it's hard to understand but let me tell you something if you are in the Holy Ghost it's not about what I say but what the Holy Ghost has spoken to you about his word somebody say amen somebody say praise the Lord in the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 they say this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth Meditate in the day and the night. What book? It's the Bible. Listen, the only reason why we have the Bible in our generation because Jesus is not here like me and you. That's the only reason why they've written the Bible. Because the plan of God... It's already manifested in the flesh for the sacrifice of sin. Because the spirit cannot have blood. Spirit only bear life. And when God created himself, he created himself to live forever. But there is some reason why God came in the flesh. To manifest in the flesh, create the blood. And the only way we're going to have forgiveness is the flesh have blood. God never changed his plan. He stole the spirit from the beginning until today. It's still the same God in the spirit. So God made a plan to have a Bible. I want to help you some of you tonight. And this Bible will never understand if you're on your flesh. If you're in your flesh... Just read the scripture. You never understand until God came inside of you as a spirit. And the spirit of God inside of you should be witness about the word. And bring the word to make sure we walk in according to what he said. If Matthew is Jesus sitting in here, I don't need a Bible. I put in the trash can. Because I call to Jesus, hey buddy, heal me. Touch me. But it's not here in the flesh anymore. It's here in the spirit. And the battle you fight every day is not the enemy. It's your flesh. It's your pride. It's the old generation is already crucified. And it's still reminding you, you're not going to do the right thing. But I'm here to ask you tonight uh, to bear witness what the Spirit has to say in the church. Because the church needs the Spirit of God. Yeah, there are so many people, pastor, they can quote the scripture. But they don't have the Holy Ghost. I question. And when you have the Holy Ghost, you should be a fruit. It's supposed to be a fruit hanging around your life. Somebody say amen. Because that's the only way somebody knows you are have God inside of you. It's the Holy Ghost have fruits over your life. And if you don't have no fruits, I don't need you around. Because you're going to track me. 
stopped you where you at and it's not God. Master, it's not easy for you to come here and do something for God. But you know when you are in the hospital bed, you cry out for your life. Cry out for God to heal him. And somewhere you connected with God. Somebody say amen. And somewhere he get a hold of God. Give him that miracle. Give him that healing. Give him that blessing. He's the reason why he's here. And we are blessed to have the man of God and his wife and the family. I never see a person have the claim they have the Holy Ghost and struggling in a thing in their own life. Because you never let go yourself. You never understand about yourself. You might be understand about somebody. How many of you probably already understand about yourself? It's so easy to figure out somebody. Well, what about you? Listen, I challenge myself as some, every Sunday morning when I come to that door. I cannot wait to see Jeremy come out of that wheelchair. I cannot wait somebody in the church uh, filled with the Holy Ghost. I cannot wait somebody that delivered from the power of God. I cannot wait for somebody rise up and create the atmosphere of faith. The Bible said, oh, we walk by faith and not by sight. I'm here to remind you, church, we're fixing to walk in the year 2022, but we need to laugh all the laugh over every chunk behind and let's march forward and remind God I'm renewed, I'm ready to take the year 2022 forward. Do you know why it makes the government mad? It's the church have revival. The church have service. If they say they're going to shut it down, I thank God for the man of God never shut down the church. When that chunk going on, we are overcomer. God gave us the promise. God gave us the overcomer. We need to make up our mind and understand God is with us. Know the scripture from Genesis to Revelation. We used to debate scripture to growing up. But one thing is missing. He don't have the Holy Ghost. He not baptized in Jesus' name. Someone say amen. And the reason why I say this tonight, uh, there are so many people around us, uh, they can quote the scripture, but when I look in their life, what happened to fruit? Yes, the only way the fruit, uh, it remains in somebody's life, through the Holy Ghost, for the manifestation of the word. Of God. Somebody say amen. So we are going to try to help you out here tonight. Number one thing I learned myself to serving God is submit to authority or submit to the man of God. I read that script in the book of Galatians. I am, I am crucified with Christ. Christ means anointing one. So if we learn how to submit authority, it will bring us in the revelation of of the move of the Holy Ghost. See, Jesus never after the disciple what they had. They after the disciple to learn about him. To be in them. But the problem is the disciple is too much flesh. That's why I pray every Sunday morning to come down to church. Because I always do with my flesh when I pass the I'm, 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 I'm telling you. But somewhere when I pass that cough course, 
And I say, thank you, Jesus. My faith is rise up. That means we're going to have a good service. That means my pastor is going to preach a good message. That means my brothers and sister is going to feel the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm here to remind you, church, uh, it's time for us to rise up and take this uh, by the horn. Uh, take this by the heart uh, before we step in next year. Forget about everything that's going on the year 2021. Uh, but let's move forward for the year 2022 uh, and do something for the Lord. So let me read the scripture for you. In the first, in the third John 1 2, beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and health, even at thy soul prosper. So this year, 2022, God's gonna prosper us in a spiritual realm. God's gonna restore gift. Into the body of Christ. Because I know, Pastor, know, God's getting tired about praising the coronavirus rather than praising Jesus. God's getting tired. Take your money and put to the hand of doctor to fix about this sickness coming on. But I'm here to remind you, God's going to prosper us in the spirit so we can be overcome. That thing is going to take place in our lives. Yeah. And it's going to happen. And I'm, I'm, I'm feeling in the Holy Ghost. There's something that's getting me excited when I, I, I hear the pastor preach. Our pastor preach the word of God. He preached so many, many sermons. We should be prospering the spirit. Yeah. Exciting of God. But it seems like they come to the sermon and it's gone the other side of the wall. You know why I'm excited? Because every time I open up my phone, uh, the next day, uh, I can see the notes. I put it down when he preach. Uh, because the reason why he preach, uh, because he's putting it in my soul. So I can be able to overcome uh, that thing that come in my way. Or every uh, preacher come behind his pulpit. We should be have those messages uh, memorized uh, and be in us uh, for the next day when the enemy coming our way. Oh, God is good. Here, I'm going to share with you something now. The Bible is clear connected with the Spirit of God. I don't care if those people read the scripture, they know all the words. If they don't have the Spirit of God, they just read it in vain. Yes. Because God is in you. It should be giving you understanding and wisdom yeah. how the scripture was written and the Bible was never written. He never write the Bible for the sinner. He never write the Bible for the people in the world. He write it for the church. People feel with the Holy Ghost. Because when the Holy Ghost connected with the word, people in the world is going to watch you. What did they got? That's right. That's right, I want something they have. I want something they exercise every day. What is that? Praying. Be faithful in the church. Or come and humble yourself before the Lord and remind God you are available for Him. Somebody say amen. But don't look at somebody else. Look at God and yourself. Prosperity is coming to the wisdom and knowledge with the help of the Holy Ghost. And that Holy Ghost is God. Because when you study about God, it's a spirit. It's a spirit. But if you understand about the spirit, you should be connected with the word of God. But some people don't. So let me go on with what God in my heart. Something is going to help you. You need to find the time and do observation about yourself. Get a notebook in the morning. Write down everything good God done for you. 
How many people you praying for them? How many people you witness to them? How many people you help them? How many times you come to the house of God? How many times uh, you come and pray? How many times uh, you are faithful to everything God gave you? Write it down. That's the only way you're going to know we are a mess when you write it down. And sometimes the mind say, don't write it down because you're in Paris. But it's not about the impacts. It's about to correct in ourselves to go to the next level. What God is prepared for us. And after that, write down everything bad you've done. If the bad out, oh, in the good, that means you are really bad. Somebody say amen. But you gotta have observation to find out the level you in. You gotta observe what's going on in your life. Don't look at the floor. Look at yourself and try to find out what has been lacking you. So many people they make excuse, and the reason why they make excuse because they never prioritize your life with God. That's why I don't know excuse. Even if you not let me preach or whatever, I'm still going to be in the house of God. Yeah, that's right. Come on. There is a, a, a fear coming over me. Yeah. Forsake not the assembly of the brother right. for the approaching. I want Jesus come and I'm sitting there watching my pastor. Yeah. I want Jesus come. I'm going crazy in the Holy Ghost. I want Jesus come. I have faith. Believe what God has had for me. That is the fear. I overcome my laziness to make my way to the house of God. Come on. Or do something for the Lord. Come on. Amen. I like that amen. Why is coming? Number one, be willing and obey, and you will eat the good of the land. But let me pass over here. He God is already set up foundation in the church. So when the man of God is in the church, it's his responsibility is over cover everybody. Here. Your blood is under. His and the reason why, because God wants a church to speak one language. Yes. Amen. Thinking one thing. If we say it's only one God, the church should be shout out loud, there is one God. If the preacher say we're going to baptize in Jesus' name, that means the church be shout out, we are baptized in Jesus' name. <laughs> Those are doctrine. Those are the message the disciple give it to the church. If they say we separate from the world, I mean the world is gonna be gone. That stated. Some of us we come out of the world to the church, but the world never come out of us. Just like the children of Israel. They come out of Egypt, make their way to the promised land. But Egypt never come out of them. And they're struggling for 40 years. If we have God, we should be here while we're connected. We should never pray to God. He's there. It's with you. It's in you. It's walk with you. It's there with you. But sometimes God turns himself away because we still have the will. Well, figure that out. I don't know. Figure that out. Be willing and obedient to God, to the word of God, to the man of God. You gotta obey. 
so you can learn from it and understand where they come from. But if you not obey, you're going to be struggled. You're going to repeat everything the devil tried to make it. Uh, your life miserable. You, you don't need to repeat that anymore if you have God. Somebody say amen. Matthew. Number two, seeking God everything. Matthew 633. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. What is righteousness? Just do it right. Act right. Live right. That's right. Do it right. right. You know what's right and wrong. Hello. Why? Well, we keep the devil all oh, I don't know what I told you, huh? You know what is right and wrong. Just do the right thing. And God will bless you. God will make you to become prosper. My desire, I want to be used, not behind the pulpit, but wherever I'm going with the power of the Holy Ghost. I want people to look at me when I walk in my job. That is a man of God. That is a child of God. I want to walk in the store and people are going to look at me. That is a man of God. That is a child of God. Can somebody say amen? amen. Seek the God of everything. In the book of Psalms 105, it's talking about the righteousness. Just do the right thing. And if you do the wrong thing, that's what a pastor did. He got on the way and he took a little music and repent. But stop him repenting the same thing you do it. That's not ignorant. He already know what you're struggling is. You already know what your weakness is. But you want to be prosper when you let go the thing of the world and separate yourself from the thing of this world. The world want people in the church. Somebody shout praise the Lord. The world want to destroy the church. But I'm here to tell you, God is already stepping in and back up his church. He already gave the word for his church. Keep his commitment. What is his commitment? Do you know what it is? Love God with all your heart, all your mind. But how in the world you love God in your mind and your mind's all over the place? I told some minister to Sunday, you looking at all the sin in the world, it's, to me, you're just looking at it. But the problem is not what you're looking at, that, that sin or that thing in the world. You're going to, it's not what you look at it. When they make the nest in your mind, it becomes a problem for our walk with God. When you create that thought come in your mind, when you look at it, it becomes the problem and the challenge for some of us. Somebody say amen. amen. Number four, honor God with your wealth. Pastor, I don't want you to be in church. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna straight there. If our church don't know how to take care of the man of God, the woman of God, we miss what God wants to do to this church. Come on. It's because somebody never treat you that way. That's not what the Bible say. Your number one priority is the man of God and the woman of God in the church. Oh, you quiet on me. But read the Bible. The Levi take care of the, the heritage of God. And the people should be take care of the man of God and his family. Oh, because the pastor has a pizza spot in the new house. So what? That's his job. That's not stopping what's supposed to be. Oh, yeah, the first lady tried that nice car on the road. That's her one. But that's not mean we're going to escape as a church. To take care of our responsibility. You know the funny thing? We pay the light. We never miss the payment. But we miss the payment for the man of God. That's right. That's right. Pastor never tell me. I'm speaking the truth about prosperity. Spiritual prosperity is take care of priority. And our priority as a church is our pastor and the first lady. Read the Bible. If you're starting 
go that way to kill them, you watch what God's going to do for you and your family. Because the devil hates when a church is blind to take care of the man of God. You know the book of Acts tell you, speaking seven people that feel the Holy Ghost and have favor to take care of the body of Christ. Where is the disciple? Where is the man of God? They are putting their focus, their mind, the study the word, bring it before the church. Their focus is praying for the church. Their focus is to do everything for it. It's in the book of Acts. Most apostolic preacher, they don't want to hurt anybody. It's not my kid. Yeah. I've been. I have. But when this man says something, I think he's out the door. I don't know what he's saying. I want to know what is going on. That is the reason why the church is struggling because they're taking care of some other thing but they're forsaking a man of God or the woman of God in their church. Hey, I was taught. I, I have Bible call education and that's the first thing they taught us. They killed a man of God. Amen. Honor God with your wealth. When your money going in the pocket, me, it's not my business to know where it's going. That's how I do that. This year, I'm going to help you do this. I'm the budget guy. I need to write a budget. You can sit down and look at where your money went in the future 2021. If it's going to the wrong direction, turn it to the right direction. Come on. Because uh, our pastor have a vision, Brother Goy. We can appeal the church. We can win soul. We can bring people in the church. He told me the other day, this is not enough. Exactly, it's not enough. It's our time to rise up in the church, get behind the men of God and the women of God, and take this by the horn and appeal the church. If you just sitting there watching me, I got something for you. Get out of the way. I'm coming. I'm taking my force. I'm taking what belongs to me. God is waiting for the church to rise up and believe what he say. Oh, come on. <laughs> It's time. It's time. Amen. I hate to say this. I know it's not my job. That's fine. If somebody did not do the job, get out of the way. Yeah. Get out of the way. Come on. We're not here to sit and watch the people not do nothing. I'm here to challenge myself. I want to do something for the Lord. I want to feel something for God. I want to make sure I am the one it's going to use in the end time. Can I help you? No, you need to put down your knees. And pray. Why we have prayer three times the first of the month? We need to find out what God wanted. Come on. That's right. That's right. Come on. Oh, Come on. 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 It's give it to you by you sitting on it. Oh, I want to pray for Oh, no. Oh, I'm afraid that they might. That somebody's going to be receiving the Holy Ghost. Because I'm going to hurt somebody's feeling. But I do what God wants. That's right. Come on, Hallelujah. It's time. It's time, church. It's time. I'm about to do But you got, you know, crazy thing I learned today. I make my way down to the, the, the next restaurant because I'm going to catch up. And 
Eu sou em tal. And I said to myself, you know, I put my foot on the back of the I'm going to walk around. And so it's not going to be. Sorry, because it's going to get wet for everyone. I think it's cold. Because see, emo, the band's going to go. So I stand in there and say, you know what? Forget it. I'm just going to get that. And when I take out today, stand in front of that cage, Pastor. And the Lord spoke to me. Look your, your eyes in the hillside. There are people fixing to come into this church. Amen. There are people waiting in the sideline. There are people is ready to come and to sit on your seat. And you're going to stand by that wall and let those visit take over your seat. Because you've been warm up that seat for somebody ready to come to the church. Come on, church. I feel God's going to do something. And the pastor told me the other night, I never forget, brother, get ready. Because something's going to be fixing to happen. And I know exactly what he said. Because this man fight hell for our shoulder. This lady fight for our soul. Is there anybody to fight God? You try to be like me? Oh, we have to cut you down. You want to do it. Pastor already tell you, just do it. Let me interpret that, Pastor. It's not him to tell you what to do. It's him to watch what you do so they can help you. If I do something for God and I'm in trouble, I say, hey, at least I've done it. If the pastor come to me and say, brother, at least I've done it for God. So he's going to say, this is what we need to do. Somebody say amen. amen. But some of us in the church, you come the way you was raised in the church, the way you know how to speak in the tongue, the way you know how to... It's coming in there, this is looking like... Man. Brother, can you shut up and hurry up? I got a bacon is waiting for me at home. Pastor, can you hurry up? Because I work in the morning. I get up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Every morning to have a time with the Holy Ghost. And not only that, as soon as I finish the Holy Ghost, I call the pastor. <laughs> Before my day is going. Because I just want to hear his voice. What are you doing? Do you need anything? It's just like I tell God. My church, we're fixing to see the move of God in this yeah, building. Yeah. No matter what the devil tried to do, we got enough prayer, we got enough favor, we got enough blood to bind the devil and get out of that door. And we still hang around here. I feel sorry for the little puppy because when I raise my voice, he means what I say. When a pastor's voice, oh devil, oh I know. And he raise your voice and tell the devil, back off. We ready to march in for a prosperity, for the kingdom of God is waiting for me. Let me close with this. Pastor, God is fixing the bringing people here. So you can pastor, yeah, yeah. not them to pastor you. Yeah, that's right. Ooh, oh. I pray every day. God bring the people to the pastor and the first lady pastor them. We want people Speak the same message. Our pastor will help you. You know how Holy Ghost brings the people up? Unity. Not division. Not gossip. 
not try to have this social club and talk about, yeah, I put it out and he always wears those kind of suits. Sing it sometimes. I don't understand. I know, because when I pray, I know God's so. Yeah, he always be like somebody. I want to be somebody for God. I want to be somebody for the man of God. I want to be somebody in a church. Because when I let go of the world, it mean what I say. It mean what I do. I say, world is gone. I'm marching forward to serve him. I have you. in the faith of the word of God we need to develop ourselves in the spirit of God we need to develop ourselves in the word of God we need to develop ourselves with the word from the man of God or somebody speak the word behind his pulpit Because I can feel it. Something is hanging around here every time we come to church. I can feel it. Every time we sing and praise God, something is in here. That's fixing to sweep over in our midst. Can we all stand in our feet tonight? Faith help you focus to what your prosperity is coming. And I feel it in tonight. Brothers and sisters, change your mind. Make up your mind to do the right thing for God. <laughs>